Goonga is a little valley nestled between the Erinundra National Park and the Snowy National Park in East Gippsland, which is that pointy end of Victoria in the southeast of Australia. Goonga is fairly isolated in the mountains. It's a long way to the nearest shop. So if you run out of milk or bread, you can't just, you know, pop down there. It's about an hour and a half down the road, long winding road down to town. So I prefer to be as self-sufficient as I can. So I've got a garden, a big garden, which provides a lot of the veggies. I preserve a lot of that food so that, that I've got things available through winter. A big orchard, huge orchard. So again, fruit preserving and drying. I've got chooks for eggs. I have dairy goats for milk and I, I make cheese from that as well. So other than a few things like Vegemite and chocolate, <laughs> um, I'm pretty self-sufficient with food, yeah. I live off the grid here, I'm not at all reliant on mains power. I have a large array of solar panels. Yeah, everything here is run from solar power, which is a, a really nice thing. The main energy source here, other than the sun, is wood. So I've got a wood stove, and the wood stove actually does the cooking. It heats the hot water, and also a, a big wood heater for winter nights in the, in the house here. There's two ways to get water here. One is from the roof, rainwater, and the other is from the Broadrib River. But mostly I get it from the river, which is very clean, and use a water wheel to get it out. But it pumps about a litre a minute, and if that's going 24-7, there's plenty of water. It gravity feeds it back down to everything, the animal troughs, the gardens, the house. The toilet, just the old-fashioned bucket dunny, so, or can dunny. So what happens is that I ask people not to wee in it because that fills it up really quickly and then ash goes on top and it suppresses the smell and neutralises the poo and then when the bucket gets full I, I dig a hole and put it in. I suppose I have a bit of a, a conserver element to my, <laughs> to my personality. I don't like seeing anything thrown out that might be useful, especially if it's old or if it has a story or there's some character in it. Since I was a kid, I've just seen that humans do so much damage to other living things, to the planet, to the forests, and I've not wanted to be part of that. So that's why I'm living as I do, pretty self-sufficient, not being part of that big machine that's gobbling up the earth. I've never been one for crowds. I'm quite happy being on my own and just having animals. What more do you need? <laughs>